Hey guys, Chelsea from Attention to Details, and we are doing a durability test on some of my favorite ceramic sealants or ceramic spray coatings that I have worked with, and some that I haven't worked with too extensively. We're working with DPC TR8, Lone Star Ceramic Spray, Underdog Quick Detail, 303 Graphene Spray, Phoenix EOD Immortal, Funky Fly Fresh Spray Coating, Griot's 3 in 1 Ceramic Wax, G Technique C2V3, Black Rhino Speed Slick, Meguiar's Hybrid Spray Coating, and Turtle Wax Graphene Flex Spray Wax. Now, all of these are going to be a ceramic infused or graphene infused or some sort of SiO2 uh, product that is going to be different than your standard wax or sealant. This is going to be single layer, sun friendly. We're going to apply it per the manufacturer's instructions on the back of the bottle. But we're going to do a little bit of a different take on a durability test. We're going to apply these to our panel, let it sit 10 days untouched in the garage, and then we're going to actually neglect this panel for two months and see if these products can actually withstand some of the tips typical abuse that a daily driver would be exposed to. So let's take a closer look. So we just look. got done applying all of our products and just to kind of summarize or recap for you guys, as far as application, the ones that really show the telltale signs of applying something and removing something that I would prefer are Immortal, our Funky Fly Fresh, the Speed Slick, the Meguiar's Hybrid Paint Coating, all of those in a, the 303 Graphene all of those applied like a typical coating. 303 graphene did haze up. You had to let it sit on there till it hazed up, but it was very easy to remove. Definitely could tell when it was ready, very easy to wipe off, and you could tell when it was all nice and done. Immortal kind of has that rainbowy look, similar to the Meguiar's hybrid paint coating, Speed Slick. You're gonna see that typical uh, polysilazane kind of appearance, and then the Funky Fly Fresh. All of those were immediately apply and wipe off. Uh, like I said, the 303 was the only one that you kind of had to set up. The other ones were similar to how you would apply a quick detail or just like a spray sealant, uh, you know, wipe on. Sometimes those can be a little bit tricky that if you over apply, you're going to have streaking, which can be annoying. Some of them I actually, because I was working in such a small uh, square footage that when I came in to kind of apply, I was putting it on too heavy so that we had some streaks and then I was battling the tape lines. I didn't want to get residue on there. So some of those can be a little annoying if you have too much product. They, they take a light hand, one or two sprays, and apply. But these other ones here, I kind of enjoy just because you know when it's being applied. You know when it's being removed. But other than that, everything is set up. We're going to let those sit for 10 days. That's extreme. Some of these might actually require 10 days. We're going to give those a full 10 days to set up in the garage out of the elements. And then we'll start our torture tests. So after sitting in my garage for 10 days, I put it outside of my garage, and it's sat here for the last two months. We are now June 26th. We're almost two months later, and we've got a lot of rain, a lot of dirt, a lot of uh, staining that has gathered on the test hood. It hasn't been necessarily exposed to extreme elements. We've had a lot of pollen and dirt, though, along the way. Even some critters have made it their home. But we're going to go ahead and hit this with a pH-friendly soap an acid-free water spot remover just to make sure we don't have any sort of mineral spots or water spots that have uh, kind of clogged our hydrophobics and then we'll get a true sense of what is going on. So our soap is Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam Auto Wash. This is a fan favorite available on a retail level. I wanted something that wasn't going to add to the hydrophobics or weaken it. Uh, this is a great soap to maintain your protection that's on your vehicle with. It's just going to give us a nice safe clean, but it can leave behind a lot of residue. So we're going to just give this a quick rinse and check in and see where our hydrophobics are at before we hit it with our water spot remover. So we're just going to go quick one by one after our contact wash with the honeydew. Here is our turtle wax graphene spray. We've got some beading, very quick sheeting. Our Meguiar's hybrid spray coating. Very nice tight beads, falls right off the panel. Our Black Rhino Speed Slick. It is not looking so good. It looks pretty flat. There's a little bit of something there, but it doesn't look very good. G Technique C2V3, sheeting quickly. We've got our 303 graphene spray, sheets very, very rapidly. Phoenix EOD Immortal, again, fast sheeter. Panel looks almost dry. We've got our Funky Fly Fresh. Looks similar to Immortal, but I would say Immortal has a little bit more beading going on. Griot's 3-in-1 Ceramic Wax. Again, 
is hydrophilic. It is almost dry to the touch. We've got underdog quick detail, some beading, some sheeting, kind of a mixture. Our Lone Star ceramic spray, again, looks still like it is a mixture of beading and sheeting. A lot of times when you have a product that's more dedicated for beading and it goes to sheeting, you know that the hydrophobics are kind of falling off. DPC TRA sheeting slowly. It's sheeting, but it is slowly. And then we have our control panel. Again, it's very flat. Water wants to stick to it. Tightest beads is not surprisingly the hybrid spray coating from Meguiar's. That is the tightest. Our Black Rhino Speed Slick looks like it is performing the poorest out of all of them. Turtle Wax Graphene Spray looks really nice as well. For both of those products to be retail level, very impressed. Let's go ahead and do our water spot remover and see if that changes the hydrophobics of any of our products. So we're using an acid-free water spot treatment because a lot of times people can think that their protection has failed when in fact it's mineral spots or hard water stains that have accumulated and are going to kind of prevent the hydrophobics and the protection from really showing its true characteristics. So we're going to remove those safely without weakening the protection, hence the acid-free formula, and let's see what's going on. So after doing our water spot remover and just doing a quick wipe down with soap just to go after residue, you can see which ones are actually wanting to push off the soap even. The Meguiar's hybrid spray coating is maintaining a surprising lead. All of the other products are looking to want to kind of hold on to the soap, except we have our 303 graphene spray. You can see where it's wanting to push it off. A little bit of our G Technique C2V3. Black Rhino's but still pretty flat. Turtle Wax, they all look very similar, but again, our Meguiar's hybrid spray coating. Very, very impressed. So let's give this a good rinse. We're going to give it a dry actually and then re-wet it because drying can help remove even some of that soap residue that sometimes can mask your hydrophobics. And then we will have an accurate picture of what's going on. Here's our Turtle Wax Graphene Spray, our Meguiar's Hybrid Spray Coating, Black Rhino Speed Slick. It looks like it's got some life back to it. Before it was pretty flat, now we've got some sheeting. So it's possible that it was just a little bit more sensitive to uh, any sort of mineral deposits that clogged it. G Technique C2V3, very fast sheeting, it's almost dry. 303 Graphene, very fast sheeting, very impressed. Phoenix EOD Immortal, again, very fast sheeting, almost dry. Funky Fly Fresh, looks like it wants to be a little bit more hydrophobic, but we still have some sheeting going on. Grios 3-in-1 Ceramic Wax, that's almost dry. Underdog Quick Detail, a good combination of sheeting and beading. Lone Star Ceramic Spray, sheeting and a little bit of beading, DPC TR8, very, very impressed with this product, with how easy it is to apply, and the fact that it's an aerosol-based product, and most people underrate it, uh, it's doing really well in comparison to a lot more of these ceramic sealants and ceramic spray coatings. So I think it really depends on what you're looking for. If you want a sheeting product like Immortal or even the 303 Graphene, or if you want a hyper beading. There's benefits to both. One is gonna help you reduce the risk of water spots. It's gonna aid in drying the vehicle, being more hydrophilic or a sheeting product. But when you have a hyper beading product like this where it's hydrophobic, when you drive, a lot of that water is going to blow off a lot faster. So there's benefits to both. It just depends on your environment and how you plan on maintaining the vehicle. All right, now we're going to kind of lay it flat and see what kind of hydrophobics we can get if the panel is just kind of laying upright. So just to refresh, we've got Turtle Wax Graphene Flex Spray Wax, Meguiar's Hybrid Spray Coating, Black Rhino Speed Slick, G Technique C2V3, 
303 graphene spray coating. This is our control panel. A little higher, a little higher. DPC TR8. All right. Phoenix EOD Immortal. Funky Fly Fresh spray right. coating. Lone Star right. Ceramic Spray. Underdog Quick Detail. And Grios 3 in 1. So you might be asking yourself, what am I hoping to achieve with a durability test like this? A lot of these products are going to claim four to six months durability, but if a customer doesn't properly maintain their vehicle and they're not using a ceramic drying aid, I want to kind of see what the true results are going to be with a product like this. Now, this doesn't mean that these products have failed if we're not seeing super tight beading or if we're seeing it turn from more beading to sheeting. We still have something there. And if we were to properly maintain this with a ceramic friendly or pH friendly soap and even a drying aid, a lot of these products would be looking fresh as day one. But if you don't properly maintain your vehicle or your protection, what could you expect? Hopefully this can show you some realistic expectations. All right, so what am I seeing so far? Titus beads obviously are Meguiar's hybrid spray coating. A lot of the hydrophobic properties from the rest of our products are looking a little flat. They're not quite as tight. They're not quite as just um, circular. They're kind of becoming more uh, cylindrical in shape. Again, you can kind of compare. We've got nice tight beads over here and you can see we're just losing some of that tightness. Does that mean that it's a failure? No, it just means that the hydrophobic properties are just starting to weaken. Uh, so if you are looking for something that is going to be extremely durable and you're not necessarily going to be maintaining your vehicle, again, so I want you to also note this, out of this entire panel, the black Rhino Speed Slick is practically dry. Is that the design of it? I'm kind of curious. So oftentimes when you go through an automatic car wash, they're going to use a two-step soak system. Um, and this is actually from Superior Products. They uh, manufacture a lot of soaps for car washes. And they actually sent me over a product that they normally bottle by the 55-gallon drum. Jillian was gracious enough to send these to me to kind of test out. So this is a acid-based cleaner, and then we have an alkaline-based cleaner. A lot of times when you use a low pH and then a high pH uh, cleaner, one, when you combine the two, they kind of make a cleaning superpower, but you're going to have different benefits with each of these products. So what we're going to do is get some of these mixed up for you guys. We're going to apply it, let it sit and dwell. Uh, and then see what kind of durability one could expect. And then when we're done with that, we're actually going to hit it with Superior Products Dark Fury. That is a uh, almost pH of 13, so it's a very strong alkaline. A lot of times I will use that product to uh, strip protection off of a panel. So I want to see um, what kind of durability one could expect from a product that's even been weakened. Um, just for kind of curiosity's sake. So let's go ahead and get these on. more of an accurate depiction if your vehicle were to be caught in the rain shower after it's been weakened and sitting on there what you might expect I think honestly we've got one two three four five six that are doing well maybe seven so again the G Technique C2V3 the 303 the Immortal the Funky Fly Fresh, definitely the Meguiar's Hybrid Spray Coating, the Turtle X, Rios, they're looking decent. Quick detail, looks like it needs to be refreshed. And again, these three here look like they're on their way out. So we have Superior Products Dark Fury. I uh, use this a lot of times for road film, tar, um, bug remover. This is a standard product that I would uh, use to vehicle to kind of do a strip wash. Or if I have just a heavy road film accumulation, you don't ever want to spray this on dry. And you don't want to let it dry on the vehicle, but it's very strong. And I just need you to note, the Meguiar's hybrid spray coating is actually repelling it. <laughs> it's beating it off. All the others are kind of soaking it in. You can see a couple that are wanting to kind of push it off 
but I can't stress enough how impressive the Meguiar's hybrid spray coating is. So we're gonna let this sit on there. We're gonna rinse it off, wash it with our honeydew soap, dry it, rinse it off again, and see where our hydrophobics are. All right, one last time. Turtle wax graphene. Meguiar's hybrid spray coating. Speed Slick. G Technique C2V3. 303 graphene spray. Phoenix EOD Immortal. Funky Fly Fresh. Rio's 3-in-1 Ceramic Wax. Underdog Quick Detail. Lone Star Ceramic Spray. DPC TR8. And then our control panel. So these three lower ones, these three right, or these two right here, pretty much done. Quick detail, last leg. And then our black rhino speed slick, I would just say, is confusing the crap out of me, but I'm not quite 100% sure what's going on, because if you were to compare this to this, this is pretty much sheeting. We've got flat sheeting, pretty much dry. Trying to give you guys the best pictures and information possible. If we were to do our mist setting, like we would get through a standard rain shower. Let me know in the comment section down below, what do you guys think? I don't know about you, but there are four very impressive products to me here. The Meguiar's Hybrid Spray Coating, Funky Fly Fresh, which I haven't even done a video review on it. This gentleman came up with his own product line and sent me the product to test out before I did a review. I wanted to kind of test out the durability. And so far, it's hanging in there with all of these heavy hitters. We got Phoenix EOD Immortal and the 303 Graphene Spray. C2V3 isn't bad, but these four right here are really impressing me. I'm going to put the link for the top four in the video description box down below for those of you that want to test them out for yourself. But definitely the Meguiar's Hybrid Spray Coating. If this hasn't sealed the deal for many of you to try it out, uh, I highly encourage you guys. In fact, this is sold on Car Supplies Warehouse, and if you use coupon code CHELSEA10, you can get 10% off to try this out for yourself. I've done videos on it in the past, and it was one of those products that was just so stupid easy. And with durability like this, why isn't every single detailer offering this to their customers as an economical option for a coating? That's just my thoughts. If you're looking for a 12 to 24 month coating, in fact, Marcus Klein said you can get up to 24 months, if not beyond. He has his at least 12 months on wheels, which right there, that tells you something about the durability. But why isn't a product like this being used more? Just because it's aerosol and really easy does not mean that it's not a genuine coating and not a genuine product that one should consider even for customers. Just because it's available at a retail level shouldn't disqualify it. Your customers want quality products. And this, in my mind, is a quality product. So that's just my thoughts. Very impressed. We're going to call this one a quits. We're going to move on. We have ceramic coatings to get to. I'm really curious to see what to expect from those. If this is just our ceramic sealants and ceramic spray coatings, I'm really curious to see if some of our actual ceramic coatings can be just as durable, if not more. So stay tuned for that video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. We have more content coming out for you guys to showcase some of the real world durability that you could expect from some of the products that are on the market. And if there's other products that you guys would like to see me do some durability tests on, let me know in the comment section down below. But we'll see you guys very soon. Stay tuned. 
Thanks, guys.